Carmina did a, an audience vote. I'm going to do the same. Um, a love poem or a poem about depression? So, hands up for a love poem. <laughs> <laughs> hands up for a poem about depression. <laughs> it, it's not like Brexit. <laughs> My depression is an indulgence. Sweet, languid, comfortable. It feels safe because it's what I know best, an oldest friend. It's a bed, a sofa, a room of security, a warm, heavy blanket to wrap over me and luxuriate in. I know it pins me down so it's hard to move, but that kind of suits because action is hard. My depression is a relief. It is in charge, so I no longer have to be. Yes, it is dull and painful, but it is familiar and easy. The strength it saps out of me is more than the strength it takes to step out of it. So I surrender. My depression is divine. It is a fine wine, it is a drug, it is chocolate and chocolate and chocolate. <laughs> it feeds my soul with the thoughts that it likes to believe. Worthlessness, pointlessness, hopelessness, and there is something reassuring in it. If everything is already dark, there is no risk of losing light. My depression is safety. I won't need to climb a ladder if it has no rungs. No need to push a door if I know it's locked. My depression is convenient. Failure is not failure when you expect to fail. It's a triumph. <laughs> I was right. My depression is a validation. It screams, I told you so. So satisfying. Don't get me wrong. I adore not being depressed. It's the biggest victory over myself, but I won't lie. As shameful as it is to admit it, a part of me relishes it when it comes to visit. My destructive, seductive lover, unhealthy partner, obsessive and clingy and jealous and overbearing and manipulative. My depression has groomed me successfully, succumbing to it as effortless, as opposed to the fight it takes to try to leave it. So when I say I'll slip into something more comfortable, it's into the grey cashmere jumper of my depression that swaddles me and rocks me like a baby. So I'll see you later. I might be here for a while. <laughs>